Lupino ran his racket of sex, drugs, and contract killings from a sleazy hotel in a slum block of tenements. The NYPD was closing in. I could hear the sirens. Their wail was a crescendo. Lupino thought he could get us by taking Alex out and leaving me to take the fall for it. All he had gotten was my attention. I went for the hotel first. It was a sad old thing with flickering lamps and faded colors, cheap mobster punks and tired-eyed prostitutes. I walked straight in, playing at Bogart, like I'd done a hundred times before. The place was run by a couple of murdering mobsters with shark smiles. The Finito Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pain in the butt. Painted a max. You're killing me. Did you make that up yourselves or you get some wine out downstairs to come up with it? Don't answer that. A rhetorical question. I got something for the boss. Lupino around? That kind of depends on who's asking. A friend or a junk squad plan? The don't answer. It's one of them, uh, how do you put it, uh, rhetorical questions. Lupino ain't here, but he said bye. Lupino wasn't in his cheap hotel. Instead, I ran into the Finito brothers. My cover had been blown. The door slammed shut behind me. And then I was dodging bullets like raindrops. Uh, great. You got a, a protagonist who is just all, uh... Oh, crud. Come on, come on, oh, uh, come on. Oh, uh, I have a pump action shotgun, I didn't even know that. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, you got a protagonist who's all... Water on the desk caught my eye. <sighs> Try to talk here, Max. You got a protagonist who's all... Who's all, uh... Depressing s statements and uh, antagonists is all lame puns. Okay, that's what I was trying to say, but how do you re react that fast? Oh, crud! Boom! No, no. Okay, no boom. Just my death. <laughs> all right, I'll give that another shot. Who should? Come quick. We had some grenades. Okay, we can't wait for that. We gotta go in now. Bosses, we're coming in. There Boom. He is. Come on. How would you survive a shotgun blast in the chest like that? At least he didn't. Alright. For some reason the shotgun just wasn't working as effectively before. Huh. Weird. Not gonna go down quite yet. I, I do like how this was set up like it's some kind of boss battle, but in reality, these guys just die as easy as anyone else. Why is this not locked? Okay, I guess I'm not interested in their money. They just put painkillers inside of the vault for some reason. Oh crap, I probably should have crunched up more pain pills. There's probably more there than what I took, wasn't there? Oh well. Oh well. If, if painkillers do so well, why don't you drink some Jack? I'm sure that would help, right? What's this exclamation point where I'm missing something? Oh, this document, I guess. I had met Lupino only once. The gangster ran all his rackets through his right-hand man, Vinny Gagniti. Gagniti was a high-strung whiner on the verge of breaking apart, like an overamped energizer bunny. He had the brains to run the business, but he lacked the balls, always falling short, taking his frustration out on underage addicts and call girls. The V deal goes down at your hotel. Jack's exact words, quote, Vinny, you're in charge of this one, unquote. Rico Muerte is coming to see you through. Anything goes wrong and everybody's gonna get dead. Goes double for you. Treat this guy real good. Anything he wants, you give him. Don't screw this up or you're finito, finitos. A V deal meant added security, locked doors, and lots of nervous thugs with itchy trigger fingers. I'd seen nothing coming in, but that didn't mean it hadn't been there. Rico Muerte was a regular Kaiser Souza, a spook story told to keep the apes in line. 313. The Finitos had scribbled Muerte's room number on the note's margin. Okay. <sighs> I, I feel... I'm not sure if I'm an idiot because I can't see through his metaphors or if I just don't get the references. I haven't watched enough film noir. I, I don't know what it is. I don't know if I should feel embarrassed or pleased. <laughs> oh well. I'm just trying to focus on the basic core of the story and not get distracted by the way that it might fumble around in the dark. 
But getting out was not going to be easy. The staircase was locked and the elevator had been busted for a decade or more. Hmm. Interesting. Can I get my dual pistols out again yet? Oh, good. About time. Wow, it's really generous with those pills. Alright, not complaining though. Not complaining in the least, because I need it. And every single mirror in the game is busted. I guess it beats, uh, just having a blank mirror, right? Uh, I guess. Ooh. Haha! <laughs> Better get out of here, Max. That stuff's poisonous. What's this? What? <laughs> Sex is always better when you're going. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> so apparently, I put 25 cents in there. I didn't take the money, though. I guess I just have 25 cents to waste on that. In his press conference today, the mayor stated that Valkyr represents a clear danger to New York and called for drastic actions to eliminate the problem. On today's top story, the Valkyr crisis worsens with the murder of DEA Special Agent Alex Balder. Special Agent Balder had been shot repeatedly from a point-blank range. The gunman has been identified as Max Payne. The noose is sure to tighten around this fugitive criminal as more NYPD units join the search to apprehend him. I had just gotten my 15 minutes of fame. Wait a second. Shot multiple times from blank range. He was shot once from a distance in the back of the head. Okay? So, oh look, even the ceiling mirror is chattered. <laughs> but I mean, see, see, Max, that's why you're an idiot. If you just waited there for the cops to arrive, you, you'd you have been vindicated just perfectly because there's zero evidence to prove that it was you who killed him if you'd stayed there. I'm sure that apparently some cops set him up. It's the only thing I can think of, because, I mean, obviously the evidence wasn't there, so there's some cop, dirty cop thing going down, so he's getting set up by someone. That's all I can think of. Must be it. Great. I don't, I'm, I'm not sure if Max realizes that or not. It seems pretty obvious to me. Can I open these? Nope. There was something else I was going to talk about, but I can't remember what it is. Oh, well. Can I break this and just walk through? Yep, guess so. Cool. All right. I'm not sure why he came to the Vinnie Some Brothers anyway. Pain's there and they're not answering. Let's go already. Pain's gonna pay in spades. Hey, uh. In spades, I guess they're gonna say. How do you see me? What? Whoa. Oh. I want to shoot these things. That's good. They're gonna blow up on me. See, I expect that those things would blow would explode. I'm gonna come back here and quick save and try it. Cause in almost every game when you got tanks like that, they explode. Okay. Just takes a lot of bullets. I get ya. Okay. Alright, I'm not gonna waste those bullets though, but I just wanted to see. Good to know for the future though. This door doesn't even have a friggin' handle on it. Uh I'm never quite sure where I where I can and can't go. As far as I know, this game has no map. I don't remember there ever being a map. M uh, M does nothing. And usually, if the if the M button doesn't do anything, that means that there's no map. All right. What the? Okay. That's a little flimsy there. Ooh. Yes. Excellent time to get some candy. What'd you get? What what does the what does the pain choose? I have no clue. <laughs> Way too hard to see. Maybe I can see better here. It's 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 this one thing there at the uh, top second bottom from the top left. No no clue what it's supposed to be though. It looks like it's some kind of candy. It doesn't look like a kind of chip to me. It's in a yeah. Looks like some kind of gummy candy or something. Third floor, huh? They just announce it right just like that. It's not even near the what stairs. The hell? Whoa. Why the hell are you just sitting here? I, I like how he had to run for his gun. That was kind of cool. Uh, I should I should be using my shotgun more. It's definitely kind of trying to tell me to use my shotgun. So fine, I'll use my shotgun, all right? Oh, I do have a handgun. Uh, not handguns, but hand grenades. I wonder when I got that. Which is better, the shot, sawed off or the pump action? Looks like the sawed off only has two bullets. So that better mean that it's pretty friggin' awesome. Maybe I can dual wield sawed off shotguns. That'd be pretty sweet. Whoop, I didn't want to do that. 
Let's see if I can break this window. Oh, I can break it, but it doesn't help me anyway. Alright, alright. Fair enough. Previously on Lords and Ladies. Lady Amelia. I kinda of remember this. Valentine asks for an audience. Thank you, Lawrence. My lady. My lord. And now, in all new episode of <laughs> Lords and Ladies, brought to you in part by Acer Corporation. <laughs> my lady, my lord. <laughs> Yo! Your taste in, in lady, television my is lord. terrible. My lady, there is a matter of great importance. Uh. My lord, there is? Indeed, my lady, there is indeed. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. This has been sad. Autumn leaves blazing like the colors of your hair. Oh, my lord, you should not speak so. But my lady, I must, I must. My lord, no, I forbid you. This cannot be, this must not be. But why, my love, why? My lord. It is too dreadful. Do not force me to speak the words. My lady, I beg of you, I must know. I would rather die than not This know. is fascinating. Yes, my lord, we should both be dead, for this shame is too great for the living. My lord, I am... My lord, I am your long-lost sister. No, oh, no! What now? What now, my lord? Will you continue to be with your long-lost long -lost sister, considering you probably already banged her? Who has to know, right? It could be okay. Do it, dude. Incest is best, but your sister to the test. Yes? No? Ah. Ah. Ah, man. I want to see what happened next. Ah. So frustrating. Get a cold drink after that. This is just. And shoot it. There. <laughs> what happens if I shoot this thing? Is that damage or something? Okay. I don't know why shooting it would cause it to come out of the... Whatever. Whatever, stop questioning everything, right? Yeah. All these... Are all these boarded up? Looks like they're boarded up. Alright. Oh, I can go in here. Unisex. Oh, you know what goes on in a sleazy unisex bathroom. I think I died. I think I'm dead. V-head junkies could go off without a warning. I had to be careful. You're gonna die. Uh... I go off for that warning. I guess that means he's gonna attack me, possibly. Better just kill him first, right? Boom! Max Payne seems the type to avenge V junkies, right? I mean, those are the kind of people who killed his wife and daughter. Well, it's kid, anyway. So, doesn't seem outside of his character. Whoa! Ah, oh, crud. Wait for them to come through. Oh! Okay. My reflexes aren't fast enough. <laughs> Look through the doors. Duh! Where are you? Are you vanished? Oh! What? Where, where are you? I don't, I don't see you. Ah! Out of bullet time. Where is he? He's probably in that room there, right? Come on. There we go. Oh, crud. I guess I get more bullet time back when I kill people. I thought it was just kind of regen on its own, but apparently not. Or maybe it does a bit, and... Stop wasting your quarters in there, Max. Just because I click on it doesn't mean you have to... Whatever. Whoop. Oh man, I wanted to see more lords and ladies. Ah! Ooh. Set them all vibrating. <laughs> Double the fun. Uh... Ooh, nice. Hmm. Ooh, he likes to waste his money on crap. Just for the hell of it. And then just leave it for someone else to have. Gotta be close gotta be on the top floor then, right? If that's leaking. Or that or someone above us just left their left their water running. That carpet's really thick. And this place literally does look disgusting. This game does an excellent job with its visuals. I don't know if these are like great graphics or not. I'm not sure if they'd be considered great or not, but they're very effective. 